So it, the TLDR of that is the study really proved that the stress we encounter throughout our lives, we do have control over it. I want to just recount the, the, the first study, which was done uh, and published in 2018. It was carried out at Wayne State University in Michigan, and scientists looked at the way that the body and the brain reacted to changes in temperature. Whenever anyone feels the cold, um, they typically have a autom automatic bodily response. Um, but also you can see that that response in the brain, the narrowing of blood vessels to protect organs, uh, increased energy and, and pain signals. So to test whether you could control that, um, those responses to the cold, scientists created a full body suit in which they would pump cold or warm water into your, into your body. On normal test subjects, their skin temperature would rise and fall with the change in water temperature, which is what you'd expect. When Wim underwent the experiment, without his breathing techniques, his skin temperature changes were very similar to the normal people. However, when he used the breathing and meditation techniques, he kept a sustained skin temperature of 34 degrees over 25 minutes, which was never thought to be humanly possible. When he was put in a PET scan to see what was happening inside his body, scientists saw that the intercostal muscles, which is the muscles between your ribs, were burning a lot of glucose and releasing heat into your body, which was keeping your body warm. When looking at Wim's brain, scientists saw that it didn't have the same unconscious reaction to the cold as normal people's brains did. His breathing technique engaged the sympathetic nervous system, releasing adrenaline and triggered the area of the brain stem, which is that um, area you, you were describing before. Periaqueductal gray hemisphere. That perceives pain. The triggering of the brain stem released cannabinoids and opioids, and these chemicals gave a sense of well-being and reduced anxiety. And this study showed that Wim had control over the autonomous nervous, um, autonomous systems of the brain and the brain's automatic responses to the cold. The results of this study have been uh, tremendous, and they have proven the massive potential implications for the Im immune system disorders like diabetes, MS, and arthritis in psychiatry. So it, the TLDR of that is the study really proved that the stress we encounter throughout our lives, we do have control over it.